I'm starting to realize, and I think I mentioned this before, this is not, you know, a new girl showing up and taking Kirito away. Nah. Asuna and Zeken or Yuki, they are the ship of this one, and Kirito is getting caught. He did show up at the very end to save us, right? But it's really interesting how her name, Zeken, is Yuki. Apparently, Kirito figured out her quote unquote secret. Not just about how she has the fastest reaction speed and therefore deserved dual wielding an SAO, therefore she was not an SAO, but more like she's the product of full dive, implying this is some kind of Yui like AI that was manifested from the cardinal system based off of Yuki, who's also Asna's name's desires. I think they might be trying to go with that approach with Zekin. I'm not completely sure. The goal right now is to clear this new boss with only one party such that everyone's name can be shown in the leaderboard thing. Remember the memoriam where people were dying in SAO episode one and people's name would show up there? Now it's used as like a ranking of like, oh, these people clear this list and they want to do that before spring happens or something because then they got to go on with their lives. So right now we're trying to do that. There's a different guild that's kind of getting in our way, trying to like hog the line and try to beat us because they like camped us and then learned all the secrets of our mistakes to get in. But Kirito's here to save the day. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh shit! It's the Black Swordsman! The hero Kirito! Damn. Why is he so cool? Blacky Sensei, that sounds fucking racist. Blacky Sensei? Kirito is so well known as the Black Swordsman. They call him Blacky, bro. Of course, it would be these racist fucking. What were they? You know, on the uh, fucking uh, Eugene side, right? I forget. Are, are they the salamanders? Salamanders are always so fucking aggro, bro. Back in ALO, these racist ass salamanders, man. I've already taken out Eugene, bro, your boss. No, we're surrounded from both sides. Swordsman's Memorial. Swordland! How do you survive this? The reaction speed! Yeah, he can. So like in this game where people are so slow that magic should not be able to cut, bro is doing it and he's like the only few people that can do it. That's why he's blacky, according to him. GGO skills are transferring over to ALO. GGO, Bob 3, cutting bullets is literally, he, he learned, I didn't think that was applicable. I. It, it's child play. It's child play. Oh shit, he's dual wielding. Excalibur? Excalibur! Klein! <laughs> Classic Klein. Oh, I'm here too. Not that you can see me or anything though. Oh, Let's go, Klein. <laughs> oh, shit. Main girl. Main ship. Let's go, Sleeping Knights. Of course, they're doing the same shit with this girl like in fucking, you know, GGO or every time Shino shows up butt crack, this girl is basically Shino's butt crack replacement for this art. <laughs> Holy shit, that entire fucking Yuki, yo, yo, this fight scene for the Sleepy Night, they actually did them justice. This entire fight choreography was fucking crazy. Not even just Yuki, but the rest of the team too. Look at this. Am I crazy or did the subs turn off? Wait, am I, am I? 
Am I, am I crazy? Or did, did the subs turn off? Before, I swear to God, they were talking. What happened here? Let me just test something. Light flash! The warrior in her has awoken! Bro, what the fuck is that? Oh, you're done. It's over. Why is Asuna so cool, man? Oh my god. That instantaneously she's just breached the entire formation with that one single strike. Everybody pretty much just got killed there. Gets to the end. Berserk healer? What was she before in SAO? The light, light, light speed? I, I honestly, I like light flash better. Like the... I don't know. I, her SAO title was a lot... I don't know. Berserk healer? I want Asuna, Asuna to be not just a healer, right? Lightning flash, yeah. <laughs> What the cooldown for the respawn is now? Because in ALO 2, once you died, right, it's like takes a long time. Bye, Kirito. <laughs> you can't even see the enemies anymore. It's just Kirito with two swords and everyone just fucking dead, bro. <laughs> We're chilling. What a supportive boyfriend. Yeah, you needed it. They feel indebted? Yeah, she feels guilty by being so indebted. That line, sometimes you need to fight to get your point across. Maybe this will like go after into real life, into mom, and we just tell mom, fuck you, bitch, I'm gonna do what I want. I am the Berserker Lightning Flash Asna, the warrior in SAO. Fuck you, mom. I also have an online boyfriend. This is like our one chance to do this, huh? Why is your name the same as mine? That's what I'd like to know. What are you, Yuki? Why did you say the same your name? Why are you the byproduct of a full dive? What are you? Are you AI? Are you like Yui? Are you made for Asuna? What's going on? Hmm. Back to Berserk healing. Oh, this feels like Gleam Eyes. This thing is so high. Cliffhanger, intermission. Okay, immediately, let's go! Oh shit! No, our tank should be fine. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Heal them, heal them! We're lacking long range attacks. Asuna and the other girl can support from back. Okay, so we're running out of mana potions right now, huh? We're running out of mana potion for three left and then no more heals. My god! Weak spot? Weak spot! I'm not low-key hard carrying! Just keep aiming there! No way, how did you know? We need Asuna to charge up and do that plunge again right into the weak spot. Alright, there she goes. Weak spot. I think uh, how this is going to end is these four will cover support the entire time and distract and hold them down. Then Yuki and Asuna will do some kind of combo charging plunge attack with their swords combined together and pierce the weak spot and win.
The guys? Yes, my lord. I just realized something. Who is Mother Rosario? What are we? Mother Rosario arc. We're already beating the boss. That was the goal of this arc. What the fuck is going? What? So this fight doesn't matter as much. This is just like the beginning shit. Uh, and then Mother Rosario stuff will happen afterward. Like we do have three episodes. Like, I'm, I'm just like realizing like, oh, wait, this feels like the end game right now. If we beat this, we win. What the fuck is Mother Rosario? Also, you can call the big sister. Yeah. Did you get everything from the week's one? There it is. Congratulations. Oh, was that the 11th hit combo? It was! Now what? Phase 2? Does Mother Rosaria spawn now? What happened? We beat the boss, we got our names on the memorial thing, now what? The fight itself, obviously, it's not too threatening, but it's still fun. Cool. Loot. <laughs> we did it! Whoa! <laughs> this is why I keep saying, like... Asuna's cooking Kirito at this arc, but I don't know what Yuki really is. Haha, <laughs> 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 losers! Now you show up. Haha! <laughs> 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 Flex, bro. He's actually fucking raging, smashing his fucking keyboard. Good job, guys! Wow! Mother Rosario. <laughs> okay, I have to have a party. <laughs> or cabin! Rasna can cook for them! Oh, well, she'll probably answer, but what? She was happy about our home and being invited over, and then she's like, wait, hold on, I can't do this actually. Limitation because she's an AI? Yui is fine. Your cabin is stinky and in the fucking boonies. We don't want that shit. We want to celebrate at a bougie restaurant. They can't go to other floors? She's... Wait, I don't know! Watch the limitation! Bedtime? No, it's not bedtime! So you're gonna visit? But she looks so sad. I mean, she showed up. Like, it's, it's, like, they literally showed up here. Is it something? But they wanted to celebrate no matter what. It's not like even if we went to a restaurant or came home. Like, if if the issue is, oh, you know, after this, I can no longer see you anymore. Therefore, it's so sad. I don't know. What the fuck? There's a letter there. Is it the same fish from season one? Yui and Kirito. Okay. Is it actually wine? How does that work in here, huh? Like, how do you... How do you... How, how, how do you do this shit? Right? I, I, illegal wine, alcohol. But it's like... What, 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 is, what is fucking going on, bro? I'm, I'm kind of confused on, like, uh, what they're trying to fucking do right now. But, like, holy shit. I, I don't fucking know. I mean, it's called insect sight. What do you expect other than bug? Okay. What? What does she do? I mean, I kind of want to see that in her that form. I don't know. Anyways, we're having a lot of happy sentimental moments right now after the party, but I'm just kind of worried about what's going on with Yuki at the end there, bro. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Does 
Thanks to Kaiba, stuff like this is possible. They met fellow friends online playing different games made by Zasid. Oh, Kaiba is such a good person, man. Even if he accidentally, <laughs> accidentally killed <laughs> thousands of people in season one. We just ignore that part. <laughs> The good old days, straight up, season one, good old days. Just being here really puts my mind at ease. Okay, what's so controversial about that? As in, her mind's not at ease usually, because something bad is happening to her in real life. Uh, she's, there's something weird going on here with it, huh? What the fuck? The drops? Money. Did they loot everything? And we invited them over to make dinner. They scammed us? ケアクはこれで終わりなんだけど。ファイトゲットヨーキットからなきゃ伝わらないことだってあるよ。ファイトゲットヨーキットからなきゃ伝わらないことだってあるよ。ファイトゲットヨーキットからなきゃ伝わ
do they all just fucking die when spring hits? It's almost as if they can no longer play the game. Something really bad is happening in real life and it's just over when spring hit. Smile! Yeah, I imagine one of them, they're gonna like, sorry, Asuna, can you take the picture? You're not really part of our guild, even though you helped us, and only one person, you know, we gotta have someone to take the picture. Thank God that has a fucking mode where they can all take the picture together, man. Peace! Now kiss. No, we did it. Why big sister? Are we the big sister she never had? It's by instincts? <laughs> what? What is this? She's crying because she said big sister accident. This is something. Does Asna remind her of her big sister that died or something? This is secretly our, like a, like a, yeah. Like a mom, like a secret daughter, bro. Like mom had a secret daughter and Asna never knew that's why it's saying Yuki, bro. I don't fucking know what's happening. The secret is, I'm your long lost sister. Come back here, bitch! <sighs> Mother Rosario is a concubine of Asna's dad who had Yuki back in the day and then was outcasted. And now they finally met the big sister here and they also named the same kid Yuki. I don't know! I'm trying, guys! I'm really trying here, trying to figure out how Mother Rosario ties into this. But essentially, essentially, something bad's gonna happen in spring. As if they're all gonna fucking die. They can no longer play the game. It's not even just no longer playing the game. They were literally gonna fucking die. I don't know what's happening. They're held a fucking gunpoint or some shit. And this is such an important memory to last. Sure, I get that part. But it's like, the fucking big sister part is interesting. Why leaking big sister? Asuna is a big sister that Yuki never had. It keeps leaking out. Maybe Yuki had a big sister that passed away and now Asuna reminds Yuki of her. What is this? That's today's episode, bro. Is it? Isn't that funny how like the fights are hype, but like the really entertaining part is all the stuff behind the scenes trying to figure out the plot of the mystery, right? Like, the dialogue shit here is like, I'm way, putting way more effort into the reactions Well, the fighting is like, Woo! Fights! Let's go! But essentially, we have accomplished the goal for Sleeping Nights. They wanted to get their name recognized together as a team. One last memory, because when spring hits, everyone's gonna fucking die. They just can no longer play anymore. But then she keeps saying big sister, big sister leak. And it's such an important thing where she starts crying as she realizes it. Either, either Yuki is literally the uh, concubine daughter of Mother Rosario and Asuna's dad. Or uh, Yuki had a big sister that reminded her of Asuna and she passed away. Something really sad is gonna fucking happen. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to prepare for this. And then... Who the fuck is Mother Rosario? Is it actually Concubine or is it like a different character? She still hasn't shown up yet. There's fucking three episodes left. Maybe at the end of the day, we were all Mother Rosario. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.